Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to a rather sporty and quite an inspirational episode of Smile to Jannah. So Barcelona player and let's face it quite frankly one of football's most expensive players ever Antoine Griezmann has cut ties with sponsor Huawei citing its contribution to the mass persecution of Uyghur Muslims in China. His announcement on Instagram came soon after a research company published a paper yeah the company was IPVM and they claimed that Huawei or Huawei flipping whatever yeah potato potato they were surveilling the Uyghur Muslims and giving information and data back to the Chinese government so they could track them. Now that's a very ballsy move yeah <laughs> you like what I did there yeah. You're not funny <laughs> you suck. In fact a lot of Muslim countries can take a leaf out of Griezmann's book or Facebook or Instagram post or whatever. And let's not forget the first footballer that spoke out against China and it was indeed Arsenal's very own Mesut Ozil. And when he did, Arsenal turned their back against him and then China went full out psycho mode on him yeah. They removed him from his games, they refused to show the matches and they refused to mention his name during the commentary and they started going nuts. But the question is what will Barcelona do? Will they also turn their back on Griezmann like Arsenal did with Ozil? But the difference here is Ozil is a Muslim and less higher up in the hierarchy than Griezmann so China's fairly quiet. The Chinese foreign ministry said in a statement that they would not be commenting further and that Antoine Griezmann was free to do business with whoever he wanted. And that takes me on to the next point, money. Money seems to be the deciding factor for a lot of countries. Uh, let's put it this way, money trumps um, peace sometimes. <laughs> we protect Saudi Arabia, would you say they're rich? A lot of countries are chummy with India despite the barbarism that's taking place in Kashmir. I mean you had countries like the UAE which awarded the PM a medal. Wait, Estefalao, what's going on? This is brand new logic to me. A guy is destroying and decimating Muslims and you award him a medal. I mean something's gone wrong there, you know what I'm saying? And the same chummy behavior you see with China. What's your stance on China's treatment of Uyghur Muslims? Frankly I don't know much about that. But let's not get it twisted, China's not the only one that's manipulating organizations to get data about its population. That's right, America also is doing the same when it comes to these big companies that we know of. Before I go I also wanted to touch upon this point that some people have the opinion that if you speak against China you're speaking in favor of the US or vice versa. Regardless, if you speak against China it doesn't change the barbarism that's taking place. Whichever camp you fall in, the priority should be the well-being of your fellow brothers and sisters. And I'm gonna be honest here, yeah? I have a lot of appreciation for China. Maybe because of the Chinese movies and how we see principles like honor and you know love for family and speaking and fighting against evil with these fancy you know Stay out of this old man! Oh you want some too? <laughs> what do Chinese people like to drink? What are what <laughs> Now it's time to take that Chinese cinema principles and bring it to life. Otherwise China is fastly going down because some of the barbaric acts that they're making the Uyghurs do there it's just not compatible with the 21st century. It's not compatible with any century. I mean it's very difficult to make videos like this and, and put these comedic things in there because it's uh, frankly it's just vile yeah it's vile it's disgusting and it should not be happening full stop. May Allah make it easy for our brothers and sisters there, may Allah make more people like Griezmann stand up especially these Muslim governments as well that seem 
to think that they're going to be alive forever. They're giving more allegiance and priority to money rather than their religion. Yeah, The one thing that's given them honour and respect, that's the thing that they are turning their back towards today. And that's why we're in the state that we're in. Alright guys, I'll leave it there. Until next time, <laughs> Assalamu Alaikum. Thank <laughs> you.